so what we're going to be doing here is installing one of these 20 foot GFCI plugs. Uh, so we're going to be taking the, uh, the GFCI cable off of an existing tub here and installing this one in. Uh, to start, make sure your GFCI cable is unplugged and not connected. Um, and we'll walk you through how to actually take this cable out and reconnect a new one. So first thing you want to do is disconnect the current cable. So take the, take the siding off where the control pack is and open up the pack. And you're going to see here this is your terminal block and this is where your connections are. So this is the one here for the neutral, the hot, and then you got your ground coming down over here. So what we're going to want to do is just loosen these connections in here so we can pull these out. See these come right out. Okay, and then we're going to want to loosen the ground as well. So this can all come directly pulled out, okay? So if you follow it back, you're going to notice there might be some zip ties. So we're going to snip that zip tie so we can pull this cable out. Okay. And we're going to come on where it's connected. We're just going to pull this out so that's no longer connected and that's removed the old one. Now we're going to come in and take the new one here. nice about this one this one's in line it's an inline GFCI so if you have any other outlets or anything on the any other uh, connections on the outlet this doesn't take up a ton of space like a really big GFCI would and if you have an enclosure for your outdoor uh, for your outdoor outlet this um, this fits much nicer uh, it's got a test and uh, test and reset button like a normal GFCI would okay so this is a large thick cord What's nice about this one, these actually have these, what are these called, the shark tooth connectors. And these pinch the wires together, so none of the wires can actually spread out and fray. And what that does is it helps to make a tighter connection when you put that into the terminal block, so you have no loose wires. When those loose wires can come out, they can uh, potentially leave a chance for arcing, and that can cause frying and burning in the board. You don't want that. So these, what's nice about this GFCI, it actually has these shark tooth connectors on the end. And those help to keep the wires all tight together so you make a nice solid connection that's much safer. So we're just going to unravel this. Okay. I'm going to leave that end here. I'm going to put this end, feed it. We're going to do the same thing we just did, but go backwards. So we're going to feed this back through the grommet in here. Okay. You come in from this side, grab it and pull it through. So you've got some extra connection. We're going to go in through your strain relief here. Go into the control pack. Loosen this. Okay, a little better. So I'm gonna start with the ground. I'm gonna go right back in the same hole the previous one was in. In. So as you see here, it's sticking through now. So now we can grab this screw and tighten down. Tight. And make sure after each one you try and pull the cable out. If you can't pull it out, that's good. It's a nice tight connection. You don't want to accidentally have it in there where you think it's making contact and it's not. I'm gonna do the Hot next. Yeah, right here. 
this into the black. So you don't want any the wire exposed. So you want it in far enough that it's actually going to make contact. So I'm going to hold it in and tighten until I can feel it start to pinch. Okay, and then test. Make sure that's not coming out, okay? And the same with the neutral. Again, you want to put it in tight and far enough so that it's going to make contact. Tight. Not coming back out. That's good. So these are all in there nice and snug. I'm going to tighten my strain relief. And what this does here is it actually pinches the cord inside of here so that I can't pull the whole thing out. So this is a much safer connection so you can't access if someone was to tug on this cord outside it's not going to pull the whole thing out of the terminal block and cause problems. The strain relief now is tightening this in so that can't be yanked on. Close it back up. Plug her in, and you're good to go.